What up, y'all? Appreciate you showing up, hanging out, listening. No matter, man. Like and subscribe. So, uh, so I was listening to uh, Luke Stevens today. He had a live stream today. I believe it was today. And he's talking about, you know, the, he's just the top of the thing, all the stuff that's jumping off, blah, blah, blah. And during the stream, I guess it's his editor or something. I think it's his editor. One of his editors. Uh, did he created an AI Concord is Dead song. <laughs> and I, it was so funny. I was like, wow. wow. It was really good. It was a good song. For what it was, obviously. And it was AI, so it was a little, you know, AI-ish. But I was like, it was, it was, mm-hmm. Uh, so, if y'all want to see the actual, when it actually happens, it's something around the 38-minute mark. Uh, or no, that might be minus 38 minutes. So, 38 minutes from the end or whatever. But he plays it again at the end if you just want to hear the song itself without his reaction. Uh, it's, it's funny. And it's a full song. It's not like, you know one verse or anything it's a full song with i was like okay that's that's fun you know you done messed up when somebody makes songs about you it's ai now 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 sky's the limit with ai but yeah that's cool but anyway i just i just ran across a couple of uh posts uh one is hyperbolic and another one is not so much hyperbolic but anyway they're talking about FSR 3.2.56789, whatever it was, or it was FSR 4. I don't even know. That's how much it just popped off like two seconds ago. And apparently, according to these posts, the Xbox Series X, I will assume, will have some sort of AI upscaling comparable to the PlayStation 5 Pro. And I was like, hmm. And I think they had an example of it or whatever, but I didn't look into it. Like I said, I just wanted to jump in real quick and, and talk about it uh, without uh, without doing any research at all. Uh, of course, you guys are telling me in the comments, like blah, blah, blah. Like in the comments about the last video, I said the title was Microsoft made more money than, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I said Xbox made more money than PlayStation, right? And uh, someone in the comments said, I think you meant Microsoft made more money than PlayStation. I was like, well, Microsoft always makes more money than PlayStation. That's not even a thing. I said Xbox and PlayStation purposefully because I wanted to get a reaction, A, which worked. And I'm not too sh exactly sure if that is correct, but I would, I, I mean, it kind of sort of is solely based on the fact that, you know, yes, yeah, Sony is spending all this money on the PlayStation kind of ecosystem so yes sony bought bungie for a three well they're paying for bungie 3.6 billion whatever right but that has nothing really to do with sony itself it's more about playstation right like is bungie making some camera sensors that i don't know about is bungie like helping out with their tvs no it's all about video games so you know in a roundabout way it is so it is playstation versus xbox you know and especially when we're talking about these video game acquisitions like call of duty abk that's all about xbox and you can say well it's microsoft gaming da, 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 but xbox is like the tip of the spear so to speak but i think the way that they're kind of building uh microsoft the way that they're building their gaming divisions or division as a whole which it would just be i guess it would just be microsoft gaming with xbox activision blizzard king bethesda underneath that's five or well, unless you want to just count abk as one but they're so big on their own is like does like king does their own um see i don't know i'd have to look into that i don't know if king does their own uh publishing i mean i assume that they probably do because they make so much money or is it just all under activision or does blizzard do their own and i don't know but anyway that's that's you know that's semantic that doesn't matter but like this is what i'm talking about like i always i keep saying it phil and them phil and sarah and uh, matt booty's you know matt booty's the dog he's the, he's the pit bull on the chain and like and, and like <laughs> and like phil and cisco holding the dog back the two dog i think he had two dogs were they pit bulls i don't think they were they were rottweilers i believe and so right 
and it's it's a uh, was that complete was that the song <laughs> Oh man, I don't think I should. I was thinking about putting the fill space on that. Anyway, space, not space. Anyway, so with this kind of uh, evolution of the technologies, right, on AMD's side, and if it is, if if the Xbox Series S, I mean X, is capable of, even the S is capable of plopping in some AI stuff, even if it is like software based, right, which is fine. I mean, I guess it would be, well, see, I don't even know if if hardware would be better than software. I guess it depends on the architecture of the device, like the PlayStation 5 Pro. How does how does that AI chip uh, work with the 60 CUs or however many CUs that are actually active? See, that's the thing about PlayStation, right? And Sony, they say they have 60 CUs, right? I believe it's 60. But Microsoft technically has... I believe they have 56 in total, but they only have 52 active or something like that, or is, or is it 58 and they have 50, I can't remember, but they, they disabled some of them because they wanted to have consistent performance among all their consoles that they create. So when you're creating these wafers, there's some that are like, oh, this one's not as good. You know, it's still, it's still within the threshold because we're only gonna use 52 out of the 58 or 56 so it's all good so that's why they do that but some can be like yeah we got 56 let's go but they can't do that because you don't know which console you're gonna get you get one that's like oh this one's better so you know i mean maybe maybe they'll start doing that they'll label them oh this is the super 56 one or i don't they wouldn't do that that's just like too much work right but isn't that how they do graphics card that's i, I swear that's how like they, they pull out all the chips and they say, okay, these chips are crap, so we put them in the lower cards. These chips are real good, we put them in the higher cards. You know, I mean, the ones that are close anyway. Like, you know, when you go to TI versus, uh, you know, just regular or something. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe just from like 60 to 70 or something. Anyway, with this advent, not advent, but with this new technology coming up, being able to be implemented in current gen consoles xbox console not playstation because their playstation 5 is it it always has been underpowered and this whole generation has been it's been a bamboozle show because the devs and sony have tricked everybody in thinking that the playstation 5 was this that and the third and it's not they've been they've been coding and optimizing for that particular soft that that hardware set and that's all they can do and you're seeing the results right now it's like oh it's not like you see the playstation 5 pro and you're looking at it it's like it's not that much better and you're like you think it to yourself it should be way better because a the price and the price is is kind of signaling that this is more of a next gen console than it is just the up upgrade but sony doesn't see that they don't see that because all they're looking at is their their concord loss concord is dead all they're looking at is concord is dead and they're not thinking about oh the perception of consumers who will consume your product who will buy this thing and you say it's 700 dollars that's sh that should be t 29 times powerful for the playstation 5 and it's not and people will be disappointed and all the idiots like like d batch out there like oh it's so much more powerful a eh? because it's canadian you know what? Hey, this is D batch, and I want to thank Buddy Sorry, that's a bad D batch. Anyway, this what well, we'll see. You know, like I said, it's fresh off the presses, so I don't know if it's true or not. You know, it might might not be. It might be hyper hyperbole or something like that. But whatever. I think still, if if you look at like these little technologies, you know, stuff they implement in PS5 Pro, which is all right. It's like that's one piece of the puzzle. It's like, okay, so we can do an AI chip that'll help with the resolution. Okay, that's solved. So we don't have to worry about that. Now, CPU. Well, we gonna what are we gonna do with the CPU? And that's where we gotta look at Xbox with their new systems coming out and saying what they doing. How much better is it from the series consoles? What is it doing? Are you putting AI, you putting double AI twin chips in there to help out with the CPU and the GPU? Maybe. I, I will I will probably I'm a I'm a guarantee that the AI chip in the next Xbox will be bigger 
I don't know if size matters. I would say more powerful. Let's just say more powerful than whatever Sony's is. Now, I don't even know if there is any type of power, computational anything when it comes to the, the, a, the NPUs. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, sure, a bigger chip would have more resistors and blah, 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 more power. It would take more power as well, but it would give you more performance, right? That's just, you know, I guess common sense. But I want to know, I, I'm, I'm curious to see how Xbox um, solves this problem or, or approaches this problem. And um, I, th it's, it's, I think we're right, we're right at a point in video game and technology where it's, it's super exciting because we see like all these good graphics and stuff, right? And we're like, oh, graphics can't get any better. Yes, they can. They've been getting better, okay? We've said that for 30, ever since Pong came out, you were like, yo, graphics can't get any better than Pong. What you talking about? Look, Pac-Man on the 26, okay, that's a bad example because we saw what the actual Pac-Man looked like and then Pac-Man 2600 was like hot trash garbage. I was like, even me, seven-year-old Stevie was like, um, no, that's, uh-uh, no, that's not good. I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I thought I was dis I was so disappointed. E.T. was so much better than Pac-Man. Come on, son. You know you bad when E.T. is better than your game. You know you bad when E.T. sells better than your game. Cockroach dead. Anyway, this we're at the not the precipice, but we're at the point where technology is going to start to change as far as the hardware goes. It's it's not going to just be oh APU da 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 with the RAM blah blah blah. You know the simple simple stuff. We got the now we got NPUs, right? And now it's like, okay, one NPU is that enough, or are we gonna do multiple NPUs, or how is this how is this working? How are the brains over at Microsoft and at Sony gonna work this out? Now, I'll give I'll give Mark Cerny his his flowers that he's a, he's a he's an incredible mind. He makes good hardware. He's a good architect of that stuff. But I feel that he is being held back a little bit because ultimately it's about money, right? And the problem with him being at Sony is that they need to make money now because they messed up with Concord so bad. And that's not, that's not Mark Cerny's fault. You know, Mark Cerny's just there, he's like, yo, NAC 3? They're like, nah, nah, nah. It's like, hey, I'll work on the pro then, I guess. I don't know. And so he's, he's working on the pro, he's like, yo, check this out. I got the AI chip in there. It's got, yo, it's gonna make, 864p look like 4k y'all don't know how and they're like all right that's cool how much uh, do, do, how much do you think that's gonna cost oh you know it's uh, like 50 bucks more than an actual regular playstation i mean you know that's just what i did i mean well i don't know what y'all gonna do y'all gonna put it oh y'all gonna put a two ter turbine that's what that's an extra hundred dollar 150 i mean you could probably sell it for 650 700 it is it's like I mean, I'm no mathematician. Well, I kind of am a mathematician, but I'm no business. I kinda, I, okay. And he just went back into his office and his workshop and bzz, bzz, started building play, PlayStation 6. <laughs> Wait, no PlayStation 6. We're going to run it up on these. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's King's line. I can't even I can't even recite it. My brain cells are like, nah, B. But <laughs> going back to the to the original thing is that it's exciting to see these innovations kind of start to be born and start to evolve for video games, for the console space. Now, we have the AI stuff, right? The, NP the NPUs and all that. And now I'm thinking like, as far as like with Xbox in particular, with the two SKU system, like with the handheld versus the, not versus, but the handheld and the home joint, like how 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 are they going to approach that? And if my speculation is correct, my rumors, my uh, Swami uh, predictions are correct, that they're going to try to make their games just like the PC, like a PC version, so that they can say, okay, this is the, you know, depending on which, if you have uh, the handheld, then you have the low end spec PC version, or if you have the big boy console, then you have the recommended PC version, right? And that would, like I said, that would make sense because they don't have to worry about making a bespoke Xbox version. They could just be like, yo, the PC version is the Xbox version. It's just one version. And now 
developers can't say sh nothing. They can't say shite about nothing. They can't be like, oh, it's so, we can't do it because it would, then we have to make another one and it's so hard because this console is so hard to make it for and it doesn't have enough. Like, shut up. They will have no excuse. That would be the dream if they could do that. If they could figure out how to make a hardware that can, I don't want to say emulate, but it will... It will treat the, the software as if it were a computer. I think there is there are inherent problems with that because ultimately consoles are more efficient than computers. So I don't, yeah, I mean, there, there's a flaw in my thinking, but I mean, that's just me dreaming. Can I let me dream? What a, shout out to Godfrey, Paris and them, and Rock, P-Rock. Anyway. That's all I had. I just I saw that little blurb and I was like, oh, okay, maybe maybe that's something. But once again, go check out Luke Stevens. I don't know if, if you if you um, if you I haven't looked, I haven't searched, but look for Concord, Concord is dead AI song. Maybe that. Maybe you'll maybe it'll pop up. It's it's funny as hell. I was like, oh hell no. Nah. <laughs> so check that out. I'm gonna try to find the link and, and throw it in in the description. But I appreciate y'all. And let me know in the comments below what you think about this new AI stuff, the FSR four and all that and stuff and stuff. And uh, and let me know what you think about the Concord song. It's pretty funny. But anyway, I preach. I'll take y'all on the next one. Till the way. Time.